MT came out with their amp in a box line, the Legends Amp series. This one, the Legends F1, uh, emulates a Fender amp and it does it very well. Uh, when they put this together, they really had the mindset of how can we condense a combo amp uh, down to the size of a pedal. Uh, they did such neat things as including a effect send and return on it, uh, multiple ways of powering other pedals. You can power other pedals on your board with this sole pedal right here. Um, and a lot of really cool uh, options, switching options in terms of a cabinet simulator or on or off. So you have the option of having, if you have an external cabinet simulator, this thing uh, got you covered. If you didn't have one, this thing has you covered as well. So a fantastic pedal in that regard. Now, Legends Amp decided to step up their uh, game in terms of the amp in a pedal of format by coming out with their AMT Brick Series. Now, this is the AMT M Lead. This emulates a JCM 800. And you'll notice something that uh, the F1 didn't have is that this is tube driven. They've included a 12AX7 tube in the design of this pedal. By doing that, they're claiming that you can get true tube distortion out of this pedal. Now, a lot is made of the size of this pedal versus their old series. As you can see, this clocks in at just about two-thirds the size of their AMT F1 series pedals, if that gives you any kind of scale idea. So they've really taken a lot of power and they've squeezed it down into a very tiny footprint that's quite impressive. Now. We've had a lot of amp in a box pedals uh, through here that had tubes in them and I was very skeptical as to whether or not uh, that was really driving enough ampage, enough voltage uh, through that tube in order to get true tube distortion. You heard in the opening uh, clip of this mixed in with my track Perfectly Lucky. I, I edited I, out one of the rhythm guitar parts and replaced it with myself playing live through this set over here as a preamp. So, set as a preamp, you're running this 100% as a tube and an, an, an amp in a box tube driven uh, pedal. Uh, when you switch it over here to drive, you then switch it into a hybrid tube and solid state circuitry uh, pedal. So, in that case, it has a bit of flexibilities. You can run this through your amplest rig as a preamp or run it through your uh, effects uh, loop in the back of your amp as a preamp, or you can set it to drive and you can run it in the front of your amp. Uh, so a lot of options in that regard. Uh, we have tried and you've heard how it sounds in the preamp in that opening clip that I played for you, uh, me playing live along with my song Perfectly Lucky, uh, mixing uh, the AMT M lead here into the track. Uh, just like the rhythm part that was there before and it sounded actually better, I think. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I can't go back and re-record it, but if I had this at the time, this is certainly something that would have made it, made the cut to that track. It sounds that good. And I do believe that the martial tones that you're getting out of this are the closest that I've heard uh, outside of, of course, a Marshall uh, 1x12 uh, combo. So there has that uh, aspect of uh, truth going to it. Yes, you are getting true tube distortion out of this pedal. It is uh, quite fascinating and quite uh, an awesome thing. Now like other amp in a box pedals, it gives you all the things that you would really need to have. You've got your EQ section with your, your highs, your mid and your low. Uh, there is a gain function on here so you can bring up the gain if you wanna really get into metal territory. I keep the gain setting on this uh, at the 11 o'clock position and that works just great to get that classic uh, Marshall JCM 800 tone. I highly do recommend that you run this on its own 12 volt uh, charger. I have one here that I just ordered from uh, Tomon. <laughs> Tomon. Uh, yeah, so you're going to need a you're going to need a 12 volt adapter like this to uh, run this pedal. Uh, quite frankly, I would run it on its own separate 12 volt adapter. Uh, that's why I bought this one from Toll Mountain just to run this pedal. Sure, uh, the actually this AMT has a 12 volt input and a 12 volt output, 
but I have found that this pedal responds a lot better when it's running its own separate clean 12 volt adapter to it. So that's something to consider as well. If you're interested in buying one of these, you might want to run it on its own separate 12 volt adapter. I don't know if this is their own uh, design that enables this thing to drive like a tube or if I can run a normal 12AX7 in its place and get the same effect. Uh, this tube is unlike any other tube that I've ever seen before. Uh, that's your standard 12AX7 tube. This is the one that came out of the pedal that came with it. Frankly speaking, this tube looks like R2D2 had sex with this tube. This thing is really a, a very unique design. I have never seen a 12AX7 tube uh, quite like this one. Uh, so, so let's take this pedal and run it uh, through the effects loop on my Laney using the tube that it came with. Uh, we uh, heard how it sounded in preamp mode uh, running through my Amplis rig. I think it sounded fantastic. Let's see if we get the same effect running through my Laney. Uh, then we will swap out uh, tubes to this standard 12AX7. We'll swap this over to drive mode and we'll run it through the front end of my Laney to see how that sounds. Okay, let's go. All right, so this is my Laney amp tone uh, with no gain on it, just a clean tone. So pretty nice clean tone. So let's kick in the amp lead and see how that sounds. So this is all the EQ set in the middle position, level set in the middle position with a little bit of the gain. So it got a nice bite to it. Yeah, let's take the gain all the way up to 12 o'clock. Yeah, let's take it to 3 o'clock. It's getting a little noisy. sounds best with the gain around the 9 o'clock position on it um, and uh, the volume still kept at noon and it, making the adjustments on the volume on your guitar volume. <laughs> So I think this, this really sounds best when you've got everything at the noon position running through your effects loop, uh, your gain around 9, uh, it cleans up very nice. So if, you're, if you go to your neck position, it cleans up very nicely and then you can kick in, of course, that bridge. And, you know, you can cover a lot of ground with this pedal. I'm really impressed. All right, so now we have the AMT M Lee Plus going directly into the amp, uh, like you would with any other effects pedal, and we switched it over to the drive mode on this pedal. All right, so Laney clean. <laughs> I think that this is good. Let's go and try to listen to the AMT now kicked in. Let's start here in the bridge. just a drive pedal it works really well so it has a lot of uses either as a front of your amp drive pedal or going through your effects loop as a preamp uh, wow what a great 
I mean, the sustain is just forever on this thing. What a great pedal. And like I said, it cleans up, it cleans up really well. It's got a little bit of grit to it even when it's cleaned up. I really like it. I, I, I find this to be really a fantastic sounding uh, pedal. Uh, one of the best amp in a box pedals I've ever heard. Uh, so yeah, uh, it works. It works a lot of different ways. Okay, that's it for today, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, brief look at this AMT M Lee Bricks pedal. Uh, my final conclusion on this, if you're looking for a true tube-driven amp-in-a-box pedal, you really can't go wrong with this series. They also do emulations of Vox and Fenders as well. Uh, so something worth looking into. Uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, so this is going to take uh, the place of that Wampler Sovereign permanently on my board. Uh, with my ampless rig, I always wanted to have the option of switching between a Fender Clean amp and a Marshall Distorted amp. Now I finally got that. And so uh, good tidings there, a good thing. Uh, really worth looking into so I can highly recommend actually all the AMT pedals sound fantastic this F1 even though it doesn't have tube uh, distortion doesn't really need it because I'm using this one for my cleans uh, this one having that 12x7 tube and running true tube distortion is an added bonus and uh, really makes this probably one of the finest uh, amp in a box pedals out there that I've come across. As you know, I've been reviewing quite a few here. So again, uh, final word on this AMT uh, M Lead Plus is uh, thumbs, all, thumbs up all the way on this thing. Uh, just a really fantastic pedal that you should take a look into. Well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, I want to thank everybody for helping this channel hit uh, 2K subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you. If you like the contents on this show and you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you do so and join this growing community. If you like today's content and you haven't hit that like button, please do that for us. Until the next one, you guys take care. Bye-bye.